Okay, hello everybody. I am here. Oh, my banners are still running. Let me see. Um, all right. Uh, okay. I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in, everybody. Good to see y'all. I'm just trying to um, get my things up here running like they're supposed to. Sometimes it'd be crazy out here. So give me one second, fam, and I'm going to make sure we, we got everything going on here. Everything's right. So we're going to do some fun stuff tonight. I'm crocheting tonight, but I am going to be crocheting with a double-ended crochet hook, and we're going to get into all of that fun stuff here in a few seconds. I just want to make sure that everything is good. Um, let me see. Can y'all hear me pretty good? I don't know if you can or if you can't. Uh, then I'll uh, start greeting everybody in a few seconds. Can y'all hear me? Yay, yes, no, maybe, a little bit, eensy. I'm making sure my, uh, let's see. Audio is good. Okay, it's on. It looks low though, oh my gosh. Why does it look low? I'm going to try to turn me up a little bit more. I'm always thinking I'm turning myself up and it, it don't, I don't know. Okay, that's better. I'm a little low. Why is that? This might be, hey, excuse me, Raven. I don't want to run over you. My little dogs be right here under my feet. Okay, I'm just trying to get this mic together real quick, family. So thank you so much for your patience. Check one, two, one, two. What about now? Is that low? Is that too low? Is that low? Is that low? Or is that high? I can't tell. Hmm. This mic, I don't know. I, I need to, let me check this mic and see what's going on. Because it's staying on one. And I normally don't have to be all up on the mic, right? So let me uh, make sure that this mic is behaving like it's supposed to. Um, let's go to my mic settings here. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Microphone is on. Everybody's on. Mm. Speakers are on. Oh, okay. Okay, is that better? I don't know. Hopefully that's better. Okay. Alright, I need to make a few adjustments here. Go here, make that adjustment. One second, fam. Oh, I see. Okay, I shouldn't have any echoes or anything. I was having echo issues. I'm good now? Oh, good. I think I had to switch mics for some reason. It went to another mic or something. Let me see here. I want to make sure we're good. Let's see. Okay, check one, two. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Okay. All right, all is well. <laughs> I was going to say, man, this is really crazy. My mic's acting insane. All right, so let us let me just go ahead and start greeting everybody that have come in the, the chat. So first of all, welcome in, everybody. I'm so happy to see y'all. Y'all be blessing me. I'll be excited to see family coming in the room. So hello, hello, everybody. Let's see who is here. 
let's start here norma norma husser honey hello welcome in good to see you we got michelle morgan hello dear welcome in it's good to see you we got michi michi girl no honey you didn't miss me michi crochet nook hello welcome in good to see you samantha hi how are you welcome in good to see you susan is hooked honey welcome in it's good to see you let's see hey kelly Grant, everybody welcome to the kelly crochet <laughs> oh welcome in thank you layla you're so sweet thank you you're such a sweetheart i appreciate you um janet honey hi <laughs> she said hi jay hi there hello janet egan welcome in what you talking norma best news ever i became a great grandmother today it's a boy jackson he's seven pounds and 15 ounces wow mom and baby are great that is a blessing honey congratulations man that is a blessing what an amazing blessing that is i am happy for you all the little people out here you know that's a blessing yes well congratulations love look all the congrats in the chat all the congratulations jumping off and we got you said hi michi hey girl you said i'll be lurking cooking late today me and hubby started the grill sounds amazing girl get your grill on for sure um what am i working on now today i'm going to be working on a double-ended crochet um i'm working on a dishcloth hey teddy we not doing that today my dog is always oh, he's something else <laughs> okay so yeah that's what i'll be working on today what you are working on what's on y'all's hook what's in y'all's cup yeah the congrats look at that yay you are so welcome dear always a blessing and a pleasure give me one second family i don't know why my doggies be going to town one second okay fam sorry had to do a little station break but we're gonna go ahead and get jiggy with it all right let's talk about it so today we are doing a oh let me move this over here making some adjustments here to my work area hopefully all is well so let me show you what i worked on and what i made and so you can see all right we're gonna bring production up here so you can see what's going on and um, there's a couple things I have to do. One, I gotta take, I gotta, um, uh, what I wanna say, frog a project, and you'll see why in a, in a few seconds. Let me see if I can, if production is gonna be kind to us and show what we got going on over here. A few things I need to do. First, let's see if we can get this mouse in order mouse is in order okay so all right so i'm gonna bring production up so you can see what i'm working on and then we're gonna get jiggy with it we're gonna go from there and I, i'll talk to you about my project what we got going on so what's on y'all's hook and what's in y'all's cup i had water i left it downstairs all is well we're gonna be all right good god is good that's all i can say god is good all the time and all the time god is good all right before we do that what i want to do I am going to share me out because I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to share me out real quick and then I'm going uh, to charge my phone up because my phone is on the sleepy side of things. It's like I'll be um, asleep in a few minutes. <laughs> I got to charge it up because I'm losing juices. It's been uh, off the, you know, I've been, it's been on all day. <laughs> My phone's been on all day. Um, let's see. Here we go. Let's go ahead and share me out real quick, family. Thank y'all so much for being here. I do appreciate y'all, family. And what's on y'all's hook? What's in y'all's cup? Feel free to share. Feel free to share. And I thank you for the thumbs up, family. Um, if you're just coming in and you're in the background, feel free to hit the thumbs up. So, um, it's 
Let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and share me out real quick. All right. I'm doing that. All right. As I'm sharing me out, I'm going to go ahead and put this bad boy on the said charger. And we're going to get jiggy with it. All right. So thank y'all so much for being here. Um, y'all can hear me okay, right? Can y'all hear me fine? Hey, welcome in, Sandra. Sandra Atkinson, welcome in. Feel free to uh, hit the thumbs up, fam. I'm going to, um, let's see. I'm going to put my little music on first. We're going to see if we can get the music on a little bit. Well, let me bring in production, and then I'll bring in the music. How about that? Let's do that real quick. Production, come on in. All right. All right, now, you can see this. This is um, my uh, little, uh, this is a dishcloth that I made. Uh, but I'm going to talk to you about that here in a few moments. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Let me know if the music is too loud. Uh, if you can't, If you can't hear me. Um, let me know. Is the music too loud? Can y'all hear me? Okay. Hey, Chantel. Welcome in. Hey, y'all. Chantel is here. Hey. Is the music is not too loud or you can't hear? You can hear me or you can't. I'm excited to show y'all what we're going to be working on today. Oh, you're welcome back. Welcome back, uh, Samantha. Yes, you sound lovely. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you can hear me. Hey, welcome in. Shalom. Welcome in, Danielle Harding. She said, happy Mother's Day. Well, thank you, dear. Welcome in. And we got um, Yarn Works by Lydia. Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. Listen, I appreciate you all being here. Chantel, girl, how you doing? Hmm? How's it going? I feel like I haven't seen you forever. Uh, so welcome in. But I want to show you what I'm working on today. So uh, thank you so much all the happy mother's day listen happy mother's day to all the mothers out there yes shalom and happy mother's day to all the mothers out there y'all know i am the mother or, or not mother i am the uh the human <laughs> i have fur kids that's teddy raven and gizmo that's all i got y'all <laughs> And I got an awesome, wonderful husband. So thank you so much for the happy Mother's Day. I appreciate that. And happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. Yes. So today I am working on a dishcloth. Now I want to show you this dishcloth. Okay, let's talk about it. This one is... Um, this can't stay long gotta run be blessed oh no worries hey danielle you be blessed as well dear i appreciate you stopping through i really do feel free to hit the thumbs up if you can but this is a dishcloth that i, I worked on this is um a half double and a slip stitch and it's really even it's even um across i like it because it's like just a straight up nice dishcloth okay now let me show you what i'm getting ready to do i put this on i was just trying these out can you see this this is uh crochet by kelly i had uh bought these uh a while ago and um i just wanted to uh put one on here this is for a friend of mine so i'm blessing her with this but she gave me this yarn she said hey can you make me one of these i said sure of course and i said i think i can get two out of this well let me tell you what 
this is what we can really talk about right now. I got here and guess what? This is all of the yarn. This is what's left. So I have a third of the way to go. Well, you know what? That's not going to work. That's not going to do. So I'm going to have to take this apart and figure something else out. So even though I'm blessing her with this one, I'm still going to bless her with in another one. Okay. Um, let me show you. So today, so what I'm going to do is being that I only had a little bit of this left. I went and purchased this yarn today. This is a brown, this is um, sugar and cream, and it's uh, called, what is this called? Colorway is Cafe Warm Brown. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, okay. So, with that being said, I'm going to put these two together. Now, how I'm going to do that, I'm going to explain. So, let me show you what I worked on the other day and uh, you'll probably like it as well. Let me move these out the way so you can see. This is what I'm gonna do next. This is a um, double-ended crochet dishcloth. Yes, I used a double-ended crochet hook and I used two separate yarns. And so that's what we're gonna do tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this yarn apart and I'm gonna um, use this with the brown. The brown is going to be the uh, the boss of the thing. We're going to start with brown. It's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm going to say it. We're going to start with brown. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, this is really cool. If you've never used a double ended crochet hook, I'm going to show you uh, what that looks like, what we're going to do today. And I'm excited to make this beautiful uh, dishcloth. Um, so I made this one. And so usually I like to put a border around it to uh, get another border but I just did an edging so the edging to me is like the base for a border so I could do a border I don't have to I could block it and make it straighter but I don't know if I should just block it and leave it the way it is I'll let you guys be the uh, decision makers on that one uh, but I love this this is the side one and this is the other side of it isn't this awesome this was made with a double ended crochet hook so this is side one or the first side the front side and this is the back side i love how this comes out with this um with this um double ender crochet hook so let me show you so this is the hook i'm gonna use it's a double ended it's very it's very long <laughs> this is about i'm gonna say it's about 14 inches long but i'm not sure but i think it is i think this is 14 inches long and if you've never used one of these, we're gonna do it today. I'm gonna show you what, what we're gonna get jiggy with. Now, being that I have a third of this left, I am going to frog this. We're gonna frog it live and in color. <laughs> and I am gonna start with this yarn here too. We're gonna work these two together. And you'll see how that works. With a double-ended crochet hook, you use two types of yarn. I have a solid and I have the variegated yarn. So this is the one I'm gonna use for my variegated yarn. So let me go ahead and get to frogging. Um, let me see while I'm frogging, I'm going to see what you guys are saying here. Chantel says, um, let's see. Wait, Samantha says, did you finish your blanket? No, my blanket is right here. I am still going to work on that. But at this time I am frogging this. Um, and I will finish my blanket as soon as I possibly can. There's a lot of few things I need to finish and the blanket is definitely one of them. So, as you can see, I am frogging this because I only had a third way to go and did not have enough yarn to complete this project. So, that's why we're getting ready to frog it and we're getting ready to use it again. We're getting ready to use it with the double-ended crochet hooks. Now, um, I don't know why, but, okay, let me just say it. Back in the day, these hooks, this is the hook. It's double-ended, okay? So this is what I'm going to be using to uh, get jiggy with it, so to speak. But I'm, I'm going to show you how, how to do it if you've never done it before. I love I love it. I'm here for it all. All right. So, yeah. So blanket will be done as soon as possible. I'll probably work on it tomorrow, um, provided that I get done with this. Because these are pretty quick and easy to do for those who crochet quick. But I'm a slow crocheter. Those that know me, 
I am, uh, I believe I'm slow. Some of y'all be saying, ooh, you crochet fast. I'll be like, child, what you looking at? Uh, <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't, I don't think I do. Now, so that's what I'm doing. I, you see, I'm frogging this project. That this was, um, this was a half double and a, a slip stitch uh, together. And it's like the even moss stitch is what I want to call it or, or what they call it, the technical name for it. So while I'm doing that, I am going to um, just read the comments here. Let's see. Um, Yarn Works by Lydia says, I'm knitting a dishcloth right now. Almost done. I have to take it off the needles when I go, when I do get ready to take it off, I'm going to make a video on my channel. Oh, okay, great. Lydia, I think that's nice. Awesome. Angela's heirlooms and more, honey. Welcome in. Good to see you. Um, Samantha said, did you finish? Okay, yeah, I answered your question there already. And Angela's heirlooms and more says, I love my double-ended hooks. Come on. Come on with the double ended hook ministry right there. Yeah, a lot of people don't do these much and I don't find a lot of videos out on this. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to uh, share more videos about this and maybe do some tutorials with this for anybody who may be interested. So y'all see, this is a lot of yarn that I'm pulling out. So you know what that means. This yarn could get tangled and all that. So you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to put it on my uh, yarn spinner back here. I'm going to uh, go ahead and I'm going to cake it up real quick. It's not going to take long. It's not going to take long at all. I love your channel. Thank you, Samantha. I love you, girl. Thank you so much. Beverly's Creates. Hello, honey. Welcome in. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Um, I'm finally getting my yarn room. Well, you better go ahead, Jeanette girl honey yes i'm glad to uh hear that you know let's see uh butter row boutique hey butter row boutique she said i'm in the ads <laughs> girl honey what welcome in butter row hey good to see you thank you so much i'm so glad that jenette's getting her yarn room y'all ain't nothing like having your own space for your yarn child you see my little stuff back here the, it feels great to have that space for sure um chantelle says uh it's time for you to come back to full yeah girl i miss you i do i miss the fam i miss the fam so uh i'm gonna see if we can we can do that we did go to arizona to um, see my family, um, my my sister, this uh, about uh, about a month ago. Has it been a month? Has it been a month already? Gosh, it's been almost a month. So yeah, we went to go see my sister in Arizona, and it was a wonderful time. As a matter of fact, um, I believe we are moving to Arizona. So to be continued. We'll talk about that offline. Um, so. Let's see. I don't have double-sided crochet hooks. That's all right, Lydia. You don't have to have them, but um, this is just something that I wanted to share because we don't see a lot of, um, I don't see a lot of videos out here. I've been looking, um, I've seen some, but it's not like a lot. I haven't seen any that are like major recent, you know, more than, less than a year old. It's been a challenge to see that. So hopefully I can come out and show some uh, stitches to do with the double ended crochet hook, you know. So, thank you, Gloria J. Bowman, Miss Glow's Crochet Creations, honey. Welcome in, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's see, are you going live tomorrow? Yes, uh huh. I have my schedule is posted on uh, my community tab. If uh, I'm not going to be here. I'll try to let you know sooner than later or if my schedule changes. Okay. So y'all, this is all the yarn that I pulled out of that. So with that being said, I have got to ball this up because I want to have smooth selling when utilizing this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this yarn. I'm going to take it over here. I'm not going far. So come with me here. 
Yeah, that's um, y'all. That's my sister-in-law. Chantel is my sister-in-law. That's my husband's baby sister. So say hello to Chantel. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. Oh, they're gonna drop it, huh? What's it doing? Do I have another blue? Yeah. Ah! Oh, move out, Ted. Uh, um, you might have to put it on the thing to unravel. Uh, let's see if I got one down here that you can use. Here, here's one. Here's a bigger one. My husband's working. He's um, making rugs. So, yeah. I think you can pull from the center. No, the other side. There it is. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll I'll, I'll take that one back up. Who who'd you step on, Teddy? Teddy, you can't be under people's feet like that. <laughs> My dogs be under people's feet, y'all. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. So I am going to uh, go ahead and let's get this take back up real quick. This shouldn't take long, family. I appreciate y'all's patience. So we're gonna go ahead and get this caked up real quick. See me over here getting jiggy with it. Um, who's under my feet? These dogs be always gotta look because they be out here trying to be all in the way and stuff. So yeah, get this cake right back up. It shouldn't take that long. You would think that I have would have had enough. Will you see this in the uh I don't know if you can hear me, but if, if you can see this in a, uh, let's see, um, when you see this caked up, you would have thought I had enough yarn to finish the whole, uh, the uh, other dishcloth, but I didn't, so. So here is, this is it. You would have thought I had enough to do that, but for some reason I didn't. And so I'm not gonna fuss about it too much. So we're gonna just get ready to get started with this, but I'm not doing this one first. We're gonna start with the brown color. Let's see. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Happy, oh, Shatika, honey, welcome in. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. So you don't have to have a double ended crochet hook. Um, if you just wanna watch today, I mean, maybe one day you can get one, but this is gonna be made. This is the, this is the stitch we're doing. This is called the double stitch. Let me show you. This is what we're gonna make. We're gonna make this one. So this is the, um, so you can reverse it and see the how beautiful this is. I mean, I love it. I'm here for it. So let's go ahead and get jiggy with it. So the first thing we want to do is make a chain of 36. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 
Me too, you said, what are you going to make with the cotton? I am making a dishcloth. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain 36. Alright family, this is 36 right here. I chained 36. Let me see what we're saying in the chat. Um, so I'm making a dishcloth with these. So these two are what I'm making on one side. I have one solid and one variegated. Um, so I'm excited to get jiggy with this. Yes, for sure, for sure. Um, let's see. Hey, um, Harold's random videos. Welcome in Harold's. It's a pleasure to meet you and see you again, sir. Um, you said do do a mosaic project next after you finish your other crochet project. I can't promise you that, Samantha, only because I have a whole lot of other things on my list that are. I do have a mosaic project that is coming. I do have one that's coming, but it's not going to be the next one. Okay, so just to let you know um, for sure, I am definitely going to do one. It just won't be like the next project. Okay, because there's some things I have to get done first out of the way I got to move those things out of the way because there's some uh, there's a few requests that I have so with that being said that's what I'm doing and then that one's gonna come afterwards okay that's gonna be my next new new project yeah okay so I had to chain 36 this is my 36 chain yes Yes, um, yeah, Samantha likes to be called Samantha Harold. So whenever you get a chance, just say hi, Samantha. She prefers that way more, okay? You said, I've been really busy, but I try to come by. Don't worry, Harold, it's a pleasure to see you. I'm glad you were able to make it. Thank you so much for coming. So um, with this one, we're gonna start with, uh, we did the chain and now we're gonna draw up uh, loops and we're gonna get them on this hook, okay? We're gonna drop a loop and a hook in each uh, chain across, okay? So I should have 36 loops on my chain and I'm gonna start with the second, let's see. We're gonna start with the second chain from the hook. Now I'm, I'm actually going in through the um, humps. I'm going through the back way. Now this takes me a little bit of time so only because, like I said, y'all crochet slow. Y'all don't think I do, but I, I do. One. So that's what we're doing. We're getting this all on the hook. We're getting all these hoops. We're drawing up a loop. It's kind of like, uh, gives you a knitting kind of feel and a Tunisian crochet kind of flow. The difference um, between this and Tunisian crochet is Tunisian crochet, you go back and forth with a... Um, with a double ended crochet hook, you turn, you actually turn your hook and work from the other side. And that's where the other yarn comes in, but you'll see, you'll see. But this is what I'm doing first, getting these all on here. Hey, Teddy, Teddy, he doesn't listen to me, not at all. 
my husband's over there doing some tufting some rugs so tufting a rug hey teddy stop stop it okay i gotta re i gotta uh cake that yarn up because it's just not acting right yeah yeah i'm going through the back loop of these um i just prefer because you you even when i crochet i try to go through the back loop depending on the type of yarn i use like if i'm using a book clay yarn like if i'm using a homespun i don't go through the back loop but um for most of my projects i actually really prefer to go through the back loop because i feel like you get a straighter edge at the end of the project and um when I'm doing like a, a border around it, it's bad enough I struggle with the, the, <laughs> with the sides. So um, I uh, like to have, to, I love to see the V's <laughs> on the other side of the hook, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, so I'm actually going through the bump of the back. Get in there it takes me a little time because i didn't chain crochet this as loose as i normally would so get in there so yeah so you can see we're going through the so i just insert my hook and then i draw up a loop and that's how we get it onto Let's see. So see there get it's getting on there. This uh, hook is a size five that I'm working with. Double ended crochet hook. Now um, double ended crochet hook. Sometimes they call them double ended Tunisian hooks. I don't know why they call them Tunisian because this isn't Tunisian crochet. Tunisian crochet is different. It's different. So I'm like, back in the day, this was called double-ended crochet hook, period. But now if you look for this type of hook, you'll see double-ended crochet. You'll see a double-ended Tunisian crochet hook. I'm like, what? <laughs> this has always been a double-ended crochet hook to me, period. And I have other ones too that are on uh, their own cords. So yeah. So I'm just taking my time here, getting this on here. to go. Oh, happy Mother's Day to you too. Oh, good night, Samantha. I pray that you have a wonderful Mother's Day with your mom.
So you can see we're getting this on here, getting on this hook. Just a few more stitches to go. Yarn, uh, the thing about this uh, cotton yarn, it's a little splitty, but it's all right. You see, we can come up if we can. Yeah, if you come up, please bring a project and be working on that project. I would prefer it or show uh, some of your, you can show a finished item if you'd like. That would be cool as well. But you know what today is about. Today is about getting stuff done getting jiggy with it and getting stuff done for sure hold on a second and we'll get in here here we go and we got one more to go Oop. get in here okay Now, I believe that's 36. We gonna count and make sure that there is 36 on here. Twenty. 30, 32, 34, 36. So I do have 36 um, loops on my hook. And so with that being said, so what's next is after we did that, we got these on here. Now, this is where the fun stuff happens. All right, so now I gotta begin to put on the variegated. So with the variegated, you have to do a slip knot. And we're gonna go on the other side, okay? So I'm gonna just turn this. And I'm going to slip this on. All right, so let's get ready to get jiggy with it. So this is what this is gonna look like. So I'm gonna push this up here. Push all my, my work up to the, we're on the other side of this yarn. So my brown yarn is on this side and on this side is my um, on this side is my uh, variegated yarn so my brown yarn is on this side I had to turn my work turn my um, hook and now I am going to begin to crochet this in there so with a slip knot I need to draw through the first the slip knot goes through the first loop that's on my hook. Okay, that's what we did there, see? And then after we do that, we, uh, so now I have, I draw through, I was able to um, draw through one of the loops on the hook and now I'm gonna chain one. Chain one, boom. Now, I am going to yarn over and I'm gonna draw through three loops. So three loops is this one, one, two, and three. So I'm gonna yarn over, which I just did, and I'm gonna draw through three loops. One, two, three. And we do it again, we just chain one, yarn over, draw through three. One, two, three. Chain one, yarn over, and draw through three. One, Oop. one, two, and three. Do the same. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. One, two, and three. Now, I just got to remember to push my project up to the tippy top there. Let's see. Hey, Celia, honey, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming in. Hey, Marky Mark, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming in. Let's see. 
uh, and may God bless you and heaven smile upon you and you too Samantha absolutely so here we go we're gonna chain one we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna draw through three one two three three loops on the hook that's what we're doing you see the projects coming off now you see it yeah so we chain one draw through three one two and three chain one yarn over draw through three one two and three chain one yarn over one two three chain one yarn over one two and three so we do this all the way to the end chain one yarn over and draw through three loops off the hook on the hook two three Draw through three. One, two, three. There it goes. See, we doing it. Push my project up. Yarn over. Draw through one. Yarn over. Go through th all three. Yarn over. Sorry, chain one. <laughs> yarn over and draw through three. One, two, three. So we. Yarn over, chain one, yarn over, and draw, draw through three. Chain one, draw through three. One, two, and three. Yarn over, chain one, and draw through three. One, two, and three. Yarn over, chain one, and draw through three. One, oh, come on. Don't don't get special. Okay, now we got two loops left on our hook. So at this point, we just do something fun. What is that? We yarn over and draw through both loops. We don't do any chaining or nothing. We just yarn over and draw through those two. And here we are. So now you're like, what just happened? So this is this is row two. Now row three. We now. After we do this, we don't turn our work. We do not turn our work. We gotta get the loops right back on there. We gotta cast on loops. And this is how I know when I'm supposed to turn my work, okay? This is how I know I'm supposed to turn my work. When this is off the hook, I know I still have to work with the same color. So I know that I don't um, do anything I don't turn my uh, I don't turn my work or I don't turn my crochet uh, hook. So now we're on row three, and with that is we're gonna chain one. Okay, and what we're gonna do? We're gonna um, skip the first vertical bar. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the first vertical bar. Let me see. So. This is the first vertical bar right here. You never want to go through this one ever. Okay, you don't want to do that when you're doing this type of work. So we're going to skip this one and we're going to go into the next two loops. Okay, I'll show you. Let's see. You said I used to know how to do that, but I'm out of touch with it now. Oh, no worries, Harold. You always can come and check us out, see what we got going on. So we um, chain one, that's the one thing we did. We're gonna skip this first vertical loop. And then our next thing to do is we're gonna go, we're gonna um, insert our hook in each two vertical bars at the same time. So these two, one and two. You see them? I know with it being brown, it's kind of hard to see, but it's two of them on here, see? There's one right here, one right here, these two. Okay, so we insert our hook, yes. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to yarn over. We're gonna drop a loop through both of them. Boom, see that? You drop a loop there. Mm-hmm. Then we're gonna yarn over. If I can get this on here, right? So, 
we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go through one, okay? Did I do that right? I think I did. Let me make sure I did it right. I'm gonna take it out and then we're gonna do it over again. I wanna make sure I got everything right. We are doing this right. So we insert our hook, boom. We yarn over, we draw up a loop, we yarn over. And we draw through one of the loops, see? And then after that, we're going to insert our hook in the top of the first chain one space. So, or chain one, yeah, chain one space. So right here, this right here, we're gonna enter it in here. We're gonna go in this loop right here in the top of it, okay? So, let me show you. So we insert our hook here in the top of that chain one space and we draw up a loop. So what I'm making, I'm making this, this dish cloth right here. We're making this dish cloth. Yep, yeah, that's what we're doing. And we're making it with a double ended crochet hook. So I'm just kind of going through a little bit slow, kind of sharing what I'm doing. So just in case you get inspired to get a double ended crochet hook, this is something that you could do. This is called the double stitch. So basically, we're gonna insert our hook here, draw up a loop. We're gonna yarn over, draw through one loop. We're gonna go into the top of this chain one space into the top of the stitch. And we're gonna yarn over and draw up a loop. And we're gonna do the same thing. Go through two, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through one, go in the top of the chain one space, insert your hook there, draw up a loop. You see? It's coming along nice and slow. <laughs> so you insert in the two, in these two uh, stitches, vertical stitches here, yarn over, draw through both, yarn over, draw through one, and then we're gonna insert our hook into the top of the next chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop. That's what we're doing. Yep, this is how we're getting it back on the hook. We're gonna insert our hook into these, go through these two, yarn over, draw through both, yarn over, draw through one, insert hook in top of the chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop, see? So that's what we're doing fam, inserting our hook in the two, drawing up a loop, yarning over, draw up a loop. Oh, oh yeah, one, okay, and then insert hook. How you doing? Welcome in. So, yep. This is what we're making, just in case anybody comes in and wanna see. This is what we're making here. We're making this this cloth. Um, this is a double-ended uh, crochet dish cloth. It's called the double stitch, and that's basically what we're doing. So here we go. Insert into the two vertical bars here. Yarn over and draw through both of those loops. Yarn over, go through one, two, insert hook and chain one space, top of that stitch and yarn over. Here we go. So I guess it is kind of like Tunisian crochet a little bit, but I wouldn't call this Tunisian crochet. I don't know. Tunisian crochet to me is a lot different. Not a whole lot different. You do use a long hook, but you don't turn your work with it. You just go the same, kind of in the same direction. You go back and forth, but kind of like a typewriter, <laughs> so to speak. Kind of, an old school manual typewriter. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say for now. So that 
that's what we're doing. Insert our hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over. Try to go through one. Insert hook in the top of this. Chain one space and drop a loop on our hook. Insert hook in the vertical stitches in two of them. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through one loop. Insert, let's see. There we go. And we're drawing up. Yarn over and draw through. There we go. We got a little ways to go here. So while I'm working on this, my husband's making a rug. He's tufting. He does the tufting. He's the tufting guy in the house. Here we go. So we insert our hook. Draw up a loop. Yarn over. Draw through one loop on the hook. See? Insert our hook here. Draw up one. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go get it. But that's basically it. Can you use that stitch on a blanket? Yeah. You sure can. Um, let me show you. Um, Let's take a little break and I'll show you what I would do if I'm going to use that for a blanket. Let's say I want to use a, I would go with a 6.5 millimeter hook for a blanket, I think. Just me because, or a 6. Let me show you. I got these from Knit Pal and um, This is a double ended crochet hook and it's got a cord in the middle so if I'm gonna make a blanket I'm totally gonna put it on using this one here this is a double ended crochet hook for blankets but yeah you can certainly use that stitch for a blanket if you like um, it came in a set so I got a bunch of them it came in a set and it's by Knit Pal, I got these from Knit Pal is the name. So if you're interested in grabbing you some of these double ended crochet hooks, they make them in, let's see, I think they have 14 inch, which is this. They also have 10 inch, but I haven't seen any 10 inch recently on there, but that are like this. That are made like this so you can do like dishcloths on something like this right or you can even make socks with these yeah um you can really make anything with this stuff um but go on on amazon and look up knit pal and you will be able to find these crochet hooks you can get them without the cord like this and with the cord so to do a blanket for sure I would definitely use this stitch on a blanket. You, yep, absolutely. Cause it's so cute. Hey, who knows? Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you being here. So we're, we're making a dishcloth. This is a double ended crochet dishcloth. So that's what we're doing with this here. 
So let's see, where am I? Okay, so I need to insert my hook, draw up a loop. Here we go. Now this is insert my hook underneath these two vertical stitches, yarn over, draw through both of them. Then I'm a yarn over, draw through one loop, unhook. And then I'm gonna go in top of the chain one space here, the top of that stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Now, then same thing, insert hook in these vertical stitches in both of them. Yarn over, draw up a loop through both. Yarn over, draw up a loop on the hook. Insert in the top of the stitch of the chain one space. Drop a loop on the hook. Now, when you're doing these, make sure you count at least uh, count your stitches because it's easy to add two more stitches. Ask me how I know. Make sure you're always going to have 36 stitches, stitches on your hook. Uh, I would make it an even number for sure. If you're going to do this, um, any stitch count, um, as long as it's an even number. Right, so yarn over, drop a loop. So it's 36 on this. Now I'll show you what we do when we get to the last part of this. We're almost there. We're almost there, so go through here. Yarn over. Go through this space here. And chain one space, the top of it. Now, now that we've done that, we got one loop left. We got the last bar left. So what we're gonna do is we are going to draw up a loop on the last bar. So we just come in here. And we just draw up a loop on the end see that's what we do now that we've done that now guess what we do at this point now we turn so once my project is on a hook I turn it let me turn it this way because my brown is over here so now we are getting ready to get jiggy with it again now how do we do this so I push my project up to this side and we yarn over and we go through the first loop you see that and then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over we're going to chain one chain one and then we're going to yarn over and go through all three we're going to go through three loops that are on the hook so yarn over go through three one two and three Yarn over, chain one, yarn over, go through all three loops. Yarn over, chain one, yarn over, go through three. One, two, and oop. three. Here we go. Just got to push my project up some. Yarn over, chain one, yarn over. Go through three. One, two, and three. Yarn over, go through all three. Yarn over, chain one. Yarn over, draw through three loops. Yarn over, chain one. Yarn over and draw through three. So you do this all the way across. You see that? 
Hey Debbie, welcome in. It's good to see you. I know this is a different way to crochet, but hey, I love using the double-ended crochet hooks, especially for, um, I like using them for um, dishcloths or washcloths, especially dishcloths. I think it has a tighter stitch and the, and the project lasts longer. Your item lasts longer. Yep, it'll last longer. Come on, get through there. There we go. Yarn over, yarn up, yarn over, go through. Two. Now you see this is a little loose on this end. That's okay. You just pull, you just pull it and tighten it back up. So it's not gonna go nowhere. It ain't going nowhere, family. So when you get to the end, so we got these last two on our hooks. So once we get to the end of that row. We just yarn over and draw through both loops. That's it. And we tighten that up just a little bit. Now, you see we're off the hook, so when it's off the hook, you continue, you don't turn your work. You, you gotta get those loops back on there. So that helps remind me or keep me abreast knowing that I don't have to turn my work yet. Okay, so chain one. Don't go through the first vertical loop. See it right here? We're not going through this one. No, we leave this one alone. When you're doing a double-ended crochet, you never have to go in the first vertical uh, stitch. You leave that alone. But we're going to go through these two here. We're going to insert our hook. Insert through those two stitches. You see them? Two vertical stitches there they go we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna draw through draw up a loop yarn over and draw through one loop there we go we're going to insert our hook in the top of the chain one space us uh, let's see yarn over and draw up a loop yep do you sell your work when you're done? Yeah, I do. Some some of it I do. Yeah. Um, this one I'm not selling, um, but usually I do sell these. I do. Um, Maritza, hello, welcome in. Hola, Maritza Yarn and Crafts is here, honey. Welcome in. Good to see you. All right. So where am I? Oh, okay. So we just insert. Our hook but yeah anytime if somebody wants me to uh, make something for them I do not mind doing that um, for a small fee a lot of times I do uh, give some of my stuff away um, but for the most part if somebody asks me to make them something I usually charge because I have to pay for the yarn I got to go through all the the fun stuff like and they say hey what if I buy you the yarn well you'll have to pay for my time <laughs> so yeah yeah that's how we do it out here so we insert our hook if you have never had a crocheted um, dishcloth let me recommend them to you they are the best I have not went back to purchasing um, dishcloths from the store. I just buy cotton yarn and I make what I need because it's just, they just, they just last longer. They're sturdier and they last longer. There's certain things I do buy, you know, to clean my dishes with, but when it comes to wash uh, dishcloths, I don't buy them. I just I just make them. I'll be like, oh man, I gotta make some more. So, yep, yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do, fam. So, we just doing a repeat of all those rows that. This is just a two-row repeat. 
basically. And this is called the double stitch. But I'll start shaping up here in a moment. You'll be able to say, oh, that's kind of cool in a few seconds. You get a couple more rows on here. You'll be like, oh, yeah, I see what you're doing. Hey, Natural Nene, welcome in. Hey, Laura's Block Ministries. Did I say hi to you earlier if I didn't? Hello. And Debbie Grabart, honey, welcome in. If I didn't say hello, uh, forgive my uh, oversight there. I didn't see you. So now that I see you, hello. Welcome in. So welcome to everybody that is in the chat and everybody that's in the bushes those that are lurking hello what's happening I hope y'all are having a great night and working on some fun stuff. I hope I said hello. I think I said hello to Marky Mark. I think I did. Yeah. Welcome in, sir. How's it going? Okay, the um, the manual one, yeah. Okay, so let's see, that's what we're doing here. But you'll be able to see this in a moment, momentarily. Um, it's coming, it's shaping up a little bit. Here we go. You got them all on the hook. There we go. Now I'm going to count. Make sure I got 36 on here. Thirty-six, yep. Yeah. Thirty-six is on here. So again, once you know everybody gets on the hook, which I have here, everybody's there, I turn my work. And we begin with the other color, variegated. So we take off when we turn our hook. We know we gotta. We're gonna be um, taking these off the hook. Ooh. So we grab the yarn from the bottom. We yarn over. Go through one. We chain one. We yarn over and we draw through three. Chain one, two, three. Chain one, yarn over, go through three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Mm -hmm. 
absolutely selling up. Hey, Dawn Yarn Doll, honey, welcome in. It's a Mama J Ray. What? Well, come on in, family. It's good to see you all. Thanks so much for coming in. Oops. Get back on there. It's good to see y'all. to do is yarn over and draw through both of those now see how it's coming out nice and slow but it's coming so that's one side look at this side isn't this nice it's gonna be cute when it's all said and done so you see it's basically the same size because it's the same stitches so now we're gonna cast on again what is this doing Not sure why my yarn is being weird, but it kind of is being strange. Hold on, let me fix, get this adjusted a little bit. Here, maybe that needs to do that. I don't know. There we go. Yeah, let's sit over there. All right, so here we go. Then we come back up here. This is the fun stuff, chain one. Now I'm gonna yarn over. Oh, we don't have to yarn over, we're just gonna insert a hook. I mean, I'm just looking at my, reading my, making sure I'm not doing that crazy. I'm not. Okay, we're going to go through these two. Go up here, like so. Once you get used to doing it, it gets easier. You should get used to the pattern, it gets easier. I have not done this in a very long time so I have a few mistakes but I am just going to 
going with it. Oh, no worries. Oh, you're working it too? No worries. Listen, just, you know, take your time with it and enjoy it. It's really fun. So basically, this is a really cool stitch. I really do like it. Oh, yeah, you like this? Okay, cool. So basically, you um, insert your hook into the, um, the two vertical stitches here, vertical bars. We'll just call them bars, vertical bars here. And we yarn over and draw through both of those. And then we yarn over and draw through one loop. And then we insert our hook in the top of the chain one stitch. We yarn over and draw up a loop. That's what we're doing. Insert our hook in the vertical bars in two vertical bars and then we yarn over and draw the loop. Then we yarn over, draw the loop on the hook. Then we insert our hook in the chain one space, the top of that stitch, and then we yarn over and draw the loop on the hook. So it gets, yeah, so if you haven't done this in a while, hey, pull out those double ended crochet hooks and let's get jiggy with it. I'm telling you, you're gonna really appreciate that. <laughs> for me, I appreciate um, these dish cloths that are made. I either, I make a Tunisian one and I do the double ended crochet ones. I do crochet regular ones like the one I showed you before, um, but I like these. I feel like they last longer. I feel like if you do a Tunisian or if you do a double ended crochet hook, um, dish cloth, they last longer than regular crochet, uh, than regular crocheted, um, dish cloths. I feel like the fancier you get, the less, the less that they, uh, the life of that project is diminished a little, but that's my personal opinion. It, it could just be the way I crochet. I don't know. It could be that too. But I feel like Tunisian simple stitch and the any double ended crochet this coffee make lasts longer to me. So we go in those vertical bars and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through one loop. Insert loop, insert hook in the top of the chain one space uh, stitch and yarn over. Don't, don't drop a loop, don't do that. <laughs> you only have to drop, you only have to do that once, yeah. Now make sure you count your um, stitches on your hook once you get them all on there. to the end here so we we're not there yet we got to finish our last um i want to say the last yarn over and draw up the loop there and then we insert our hook in the last bar and we drop a loop now this is where we come and we count our stitches Yay! So now, so once they're, hey, Mama J, how you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. I am doing a, I'm crocheting a dishcloth using a double-ended crochet hook. So you can say I'm crocheting on the double. Okay. Hey there, Michi. Michi crochet nook. Hello again, honey. So um, this is where we are here. So once I get my project on the hook, I'll, um, I then turn my work. So I turn to the other side and let's go ahead and we gonna get these off of here. That's how that works. So if you can remember that, you'll be fine. <laughs> 
So basically we yarn over and we draw through one and then we yarn over and then we do a chain one. So here's our chain one, bam. And then after that we yarn over and we draw through three loops. Hold on, Oop. yarn over and draw through three. One, two, three. And then we chain one again, yarn over, draw through three. One, two, three. Three loops. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Chain one. Oops, before we do that, let's get this, make sure all that's on there. This yarn is a little splitty. So, let's see. Hey, Kelly, you doing a thing there with that Tunisian crochet. It's actually double-ended crochet. So, this is the double-ended crochet hook. Yep. Back in the day, they used to just be called double-ended crochet hooks. But, um... Kelly, is this a Tunisian mouth stitch? No, it is not. This is the double ended crochet and it's called the double stitch. Yeah, it's called a double stitch. It reminds, it is kind of like Tunisian because you do cast on your uh, your yarn on the, on the uh, you put your uh, loops on the hook. So that gives you that, it does remind you of Tunisian crochet. The difference is Tunisian crochet is you go in one direction, right? But with the double ended crochet hooks, you actually turn your work. You turn. You have a different color yarn on each side. So I have my my solid color on this side and my variegated color on this side. So that's how um, that's what we're doing. So it's a little different than the Tunisian crochet. Um, Tunisian crochet, you just go back and forth. You don't you don't turn your work at all. With this, you literally turn your hook. You slide your work down and you turn your hook. So we're gonna chain one. Let me put this up some. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna chain one. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna draw through three loops. One, two, and three. Yarn over, chain one. Yarn over and draw through three. So basically we chain one and we yarn over and draw through three. Chain one, draw through three, chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Here we go. You chain one. Let's see. Yarn over, draw through three. Okay. And we have two loops left on our hook. Now, with this, we just yarn over and draw through two. And we just kind of, when it's a little loose, we just kind of pull that. It's not going anywhere. So, see, it's coming along, fam. It's cute. This is going to be nice. It's going to be a nice dishcloth. For, I'm making this for my friend. Um, 
So we still continue with the same yarn that we don't turn our work yet. So we chain one. Remember, don't go through the first vertical loop, go through the next two. So we insert our hook, yarn over, draw the loop, yarn over, draw through the line. Uh, Insert our hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. Insert our hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, okay. Insert our hook and yarn over and just draw up a loop here. Ins insert our hook, did I chain? Oh, I did. Insert our hook here, <laughs> chain one. Insert our hook, draw up a loop. Insert through two, yarn over, draw up a loop, chain one. And then we insert our hook and draw up a loop. Insert our hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, chain one. Oops, insert in the top of that. Chain one space and draw the loop. Insert our hook in top of that chain one space and draw the loop. Insert our hook. So you basically, this is the whole, this is the whole thing right here. No, I still have a little ways to go on my blanket. I'm just uh, doing something new. Um, I had some dishcloths that I had to finish. So this is one that I am doing now. I, I was a third of the way done and ran out of yarn. So I frogged it all the way back. And now I'm doing this dishcloth. Um, this is a double-ended crochet hook. And... Um, this is called the double stitch. It's a double stitch this cloth. Yep, so that's what I'm doing. But I will probably be back at it tomorrow. So you'll see me, maybe you'll see me tomorrow working on that because I, I love working on that uh, project because the yarn is so soft. Yeah, um, those that know I've been working on a um, velvet blanket or velvet small throw. I don't know how small it'll be, but I'm making it for my cousin. She had asked me a while back, and so I'm trying to get that done for her. You have one of these hooks? Yeah. Yeah, I like, you know what, I like the, I was saying earlier, that I like the 
uh, dishcloths that are made with a double-ended crochet hook and those that are made with Tunisian crochet hooks because I feel like they do last a little longer. But there are some, I will also say, there are some stitches that are regular crochet that I feel last um, a decent amount of time. But I feel like when you make these, these last longer. When you make them using the double-ended crochet hooks and or making a Tunisian dishcloth, I feel like they last a little longer. But that's just my personal preference, family. That's in my own opinion. And the last stitch. Just go in here and drop a loop. Boom. That's it. So I do have 36 on my hook. So now this is where we do the fun stuff. We turn our work. Turn it this way, and we pick up this yarn. Did you um? Did you glue it already? Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. So this is how pretty is this? This is so neat. I love this. So we push our work up. To the other end. So we yarn over, draw up a loop, we chain one, and we yarn over, and we draw through three. One, two, three loops. Yep. Chain one, and draw through three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Oops, one, two, and three. There we go. That's what we do. Draw through three. Chain one, yarn over, and draw through three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Three loops. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three loops. That's what we do. I left my uh, attention ring downstairs. <laughs> this yarn be splitting sometimes. Some of the splitty yarn, bam. <laughs> See how neat that is, isn't that pretty? This is coming out nicely. I must say, I love it. I'm here for it. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, we gotta get them loops. Woo! Back on that hook. So what do we do? We chain one. We insert our hook in the the next two stitches or bars. Not the first vertical bar, it's always the second and third vertical bar. And then we yarn over. Or I could say, um, yeah, yarn over and drop a loop. Or um, chain one, insert here, yarn over, just draw a loop. So this is insert in your vertical bar, draw a loop, and then chain one. And then you insert your hook in the top there. Yeah. Yarn over. That's it. So then we go insert our hook, those vertical bars. Yarn over, draw up a loop, chain one. Insert our hook in the top of that chain one space. Straight stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop on hook. Vertical bars, two. Yarn over, draw up a loop. Chain one. Insert your hook in the top of that vertical bar of that chain one stitch.
Okay, I'm back, fam. One second, please. Is up. Hmm? Yeah, know what to do. One second, family. The internet just went crazy. Yeah, a lot of people might be online tonight. Let me make sure we're set up properly now. Okay. Can't tell if I'm set up properly. Thank you. The internet is being a little weird. Give me a second here and let me get this set up properly. back in business almost. All right, let's see. Yeah, that was strange, family. My internet just, it lost its mind. It said, forget this nonsense. We're not going to sit up here. <laughs> it was crazy. Okay, so this might get a little bit loud. So please forgive for a few seconds here. Okay, we're back in business. That was strange. Yeah, our internet just said, hey, see you later. My husband was telling me, he's like, he, he believes it was um, the... Thank you for the welcome back. I appreciate that.
All right, Michis, have a blessed night. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you hanging out. Um, may the Most High bless you and may heaven smile upon you. What time is it? Oh, it's 11.44. Okay. Okay. I think I'm back in business. Sandrine, welcome in. Good to see you. I am making a dish call with a double ended crochet hook.
These two, it's raving over there. Oh, I'm like freezing up every so often. That's crazy. vertical bars, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, and just chain one, boom, insert your hook and draw up a loop, one hook, move on to the next vertical bars, yes, two vertical bars, yarn over, insert, draw up a loop, only on one, only go through one loop there when you do that. sinuses have been giving me the blues these past few days every time the weather changes I mean it's ridiculous
we have finished this set. So now we turn our work again. You know, once you're, you've got your um, loops on, you know you get to turn your work at this point. So we turn our work. And we are now going to bring in the faded color again. So we do it way we're doing. We are going to go on over and drop a loop. And we are going to chain one. Boom. We are going to yarn over and draw through three. One, two, three. See? Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. One, two, and three. Chain one, yarn over, one, two, three. Yarn over, draw through three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Hey, Susan uh, Nurse, honey, welcome in. You're not late, you're right on time. You are right on time. You are over, Gerald do too. So I am making, this is what I'm making, this dish cloth right here. This is a double ended crochet uh, dish cloth. sewn in the ends on that yet but this is what it looks like on the one side and this is what it looks like on the other side this is called the double stitch hey CJ Spice honey welcome in but that's what this is it's a, it's a double ended crochet dishcloth like I said it's um this is the first on one side and this is the other side yeah and I'm using um, a double ended crochet hook to do that see this here and so the colors I'm using for this is this one and this one. I don't remember the name of this color. But, you know, hey, we here for it all. So, okay, so now. It is time to cast on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Susan and CJ Spass. So what we do now is we chain one and we insert our hook into these two vertical stitches here. Not the first one. You never go on the first one. You mess up your work if you go on the first one. Don't go on that one. Go on these two right here. These two stitches. Bow. That's what we're going to do. So, we're going to insert our hook in these two stitches, and then we're going to yarn over, and we draw through, draw up one loop, and then we chain one, chain one, loop, loop, one hook, see? 
then we insert our hook in the top of the chain one space and top of that stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. So now we have three loops on our hook. And we do the same thing all the way across. Insert our hook into the two vertical bars, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, chain one. Then we insert our hook in the top of the next stitch, which is the chain one space stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. That's it. So this is all we're doing. I'm going to save this video in my playlist. The next time I use this type of hook, I'll have it because I did this before, but it was different. I must have been doing it wrong. Oh, no, you probably was doing it right. This is just a different stitch. I just woke from a, night, a cat nap. Oh, okay, Susan. <laughs> no worries. Um, and I'll, I'll name this video Double Ended Crochet um, uh, Dishcloth. The double stitch so you'll have it this is a different stitch you might not have been doing it wrong it's just you know this is just a different stitch but I will um, and I'll see if I can do I'm trying to um, see if I can do a tutorial on just how to do this period so tutorial video on this just a double stitch this is cool you said I was working on a sweater earlier oh okay Kelly no I think I was because it didn't look look right oh okay 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 yeah, this is like, you just got to take your time with it, and it'll be fine. So I'll try to say what I'm doing. I've been saying what I've been doing all night. It's basically the same stitches, so I am going to get jiggy with it and share what I'm doing here. 
after this row. All right, now that I've got them all on here, now remember, once you cast them all on, you know it's time to turn your work. So I casted this color on. Y'all can see it's the variegated. And now I gotta switch back to the solid color. So to do that, I just turn my work, turn my work over, and we're gonna bring this in. This is how we bring in the new color. So we yarn over and we insert, we yarn over and go through one loop and then we chain one. And then we yarn over and draw through three loops. So we go through one, two, three. We yarn over, oh, we do a chain one. We yarn over and draw through three. One, two, three. We chain one. We yarn over and draw through three loops. One, two, three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. One, two, three. Sometimes this yarn is a little bit splitty, but. Yarn over, I'm sorry, chain one, yarn over, three loops one two three three chain one yarn over draw through three loops one two three chain one draw through three one two three chain one yarn over draw through three loops chain one yarn over draw through three one two three see Don't worry about this guy on the end. He be, he he's a little loose. It's always gonna. This one's always gonna be a little loose. Okay, it's a little loosey goosey. That's the nature of this uh, technique. Seriously. So we're gonna chain one, yarn over, draw through three loops. One, two, three. Yarn over, chain one. <laughs> yarn over, draw through three. One, two, three. Chain one. Yarn over, draw through three. One, two, and three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. One, two, three, three loops. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. One, two, and three. Chain one, yarn over, See my little splitty yarn sometimes. Oh, thank you so much. Susan, thank you so much. So we chain one. Yarn over. Draw through three. One, two, and three. Chain one. Yarn over. Draw through three. One, two, and three. Now you notice we have two loops left on our hook. All we do is yarn over and draw through both of those hoop loops. Now, you you know, just pull this, you know, when it gets a little loosey-goosey, just pull it some, tighten it up a little bit. Now, we gotta put those loops right back on that hook. So what do we do? Tighten this up a little bit down here, this guy. Remember, we do not go through the first vertical loop, no. You leave that guy alone. He minding his own business. He be holding things together. So that's why we don't have to mess with this guy right here. We gonna leave him alone. Even though it's a little loosey goosey, don't you worry. He doing his job. Now we gotta go through these two, the next two. So we go through here. Okay, so after we yarn over, and we're now getting ready to start our second row. We chain one. See, chain one. 
and then we insert our hook in these two vertical bars, the next two vertical bars. It keeps the uh, side straight, absolutely, it keeps the side straight, absolutely. So we insert our hook into both of these, both of these loops, just insert there, and then we yarn over and we draw through both loops. Then we chain one, we yarn over, chain one, and we have two loops on our hook. Then we go into the top of the chain one space um, stitch in the top of that stitch, and we yarn over and draw the loop on hook. That's it. That's the whole pattern. So I'll show you again. We insert through the next two vertical loops or vertical bars. We yarn over, draw through both, and then we chain one, and then we insert our hook in the top of that chain one space, uh, stitch right in the top, and we yarn over and draw the loop. Oh no, see? So we insert through both loops, both bars, yarn over, draw the loop, and then chain one. One second, please. One second, please. Give me one second here. Where am I? Mm. Okay, one second then. Okay, we are back at it. All right, here we go. Yeah, where am I? Oh, insert the, insert in the top of the chain one space. We yarn over and draw through. So we insert our hook through the two vertical bars. We yarn over and draw through both. We chain one. And we insert our hook on top of that stitch there. And we draw up a loop. Here we go, insert our hook, draw the loop, chain one, insert our hook, loop that loop, and we draw the loop. Insert our vertical bars, draw the both, yarn over, draw the one or chain one. Looking good, mine is looking a little wonky, but the dishes are not going to care. No, they will not care. Dishes will not care. Mm -mm. They won't care. The cool thing is that you're doing it, you know? Once you get used to this stitch, it, it becomes easier after a while. You just gotta get used to it and don't try not to yarn over more than when you need to. <laughs> I think that's, that's the key there. Trust me, yesterday uh, when, I, when I was working on it, I wasn't paying attention. Child, I had 38 stitches when I started with 36. I was like, now however so shall that be? I must go find my error. And I did. I took out as many rows as I could that counted 38 and until I got down to my 36. <laughs> um, yep, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, for some reason, 
I missed this yarn is a little splitty so I went through the, this a little crazy let's see my daughter and her friend want Swiffer covers okay made for their sweepers this stitch would be perfect for that oh okay yeah you can do that for that too yeah for sure absolutely that would look great actually And like I said, I, I, me personally, I believe the double-ended crochet um, projects that are dishcloths or the Tunisian stitches, I believe, I feel like they last longer than regular crochet dishcloths. That's just my personal um, opinion. That's just my opinion. I could be telling a story, but... It could just be the way that I crochet too that they last longer as well. So could just be me, child. been crazy out here well I'll tell you what here we go um, so we work on this until we get to the length you want it to be see let me see how wide my is and I can tell you how let's see mine should be about Yeah, that's right. It's about eight inches. A little longer than eight inches, and then I'm gonna make it eight by eight. Or yeah, something like that. Eight by eight. Then I'll add a border to it. So I'm gonna get to that point and if you want to what I could do is tomorrow, because my internet is acting really crazy tonight, so I'm not going to uh, stay on here too much longer because I don't want to be getting cut off again. But if you want to keep working on this um, till you get to the length that you need it to be, um, when you get to the point where you're at your 8 inches or whatnot and everybody's, let's see, where, how's it go? Okay, so when you get to where you need to be, you yarn over and you know you take all your loops off your hook. Once you do that, once you take all your will, then we'll close it, we'll close it out. So that's what I'll do tomorrow. I'll come back on and I will we'll do the end of it. So if you're gonna work on this for the rest of like tonight or tomorrow, tomorrow or was it where are we if you're gonna work on it the rest of the day according to my time it's already tomorrow um, I come back live tomorrow at 645 what I'll do is I will show how we end this I'm not sure where I placed my hooks but I'm going to search right now okay cool so what I'll do is I'll come back on tomorrow even though I, I have another project that I want to do which is my blanket that can wait I will get this finished up and then tomorrow we'll finish it so basically I'll show you what it looks like to do when you get to that last row what you need to do so your last row is going to be let me just finish this and I'll show you what I mean when I say so you can kind of have an idea what I'm talking about so you can come back to this video and watch it. 
So we insert our hook, oops, if I can get it in there, insert through the vertical bars. <laughs> Yarn over, draw up a loop. Then you yarn over, I, I say chain one, but you can say, uh, go through uh, one loop here. And then we insert our hook in the top of that stitch here. Stop of that uh, chain one uh, space stitch and yarn over and just draw the loop. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see me tomorrow. So we're gonna keep doing this and then I'm gonna show you what I mean. Once I finish, I'm gonna show you what I mean real quick. Let me finish this row and insert hook, draw the loop. My yarn is splitty, that's why I'm like taking it out and sometimes this cotton be splitting it, it be wanting to split. It's like, we don't need to do that. Turn over. Draw a good one. Let me insert our hook. Draw up a loop. Insert our hook through the two vertical bars. Draw up a loop. Turn over. I call that a chain one, of course. I think I am going to pull out my crochet on the devil book. Yeah. Why not? This is relax. It is relaxing. Once you get used to doing it, it's like, oh, this is this is pretty simple. Draw up a loop. So we insert here. go through stitch. last stitch we just shine over and draw a loop okay so okay so now that we've done all this here now we got to take this off so once these are on here we know it's time to turn our work so I'm going to turn my work this way. It definitely looks fun. It is. It's pretty fun. So once you get to, you turn it over. Now you bring up your yarn. You draw up a loop. I'm sorry. You yarn over and you draw through one. And then you chain one. And then you yarn over and you draw through three. One, two, three. So we chain one, yarn over, draw through three. One, two, three. Three hoops on your hook. You draw through those three. So you chain one. Yarn over, draw through three. One, two, three. Yarn over. Basically, chain one. <laughs> yarn over, draw through three. One, two, and three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. One, two, three. Three loops. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three loops. One, two, and three. Chain one, draw through three. Chain one, yarn over, 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 draw through three, one, two, three, oops. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Chain one, yarn over, draw through three. Chain one, yarn 
Yarn over and just draw, draw through those two. Now, oop, there we go, draw through those two. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so when you get to this point, this is where you would end it. This is where we would finish our ending. And so once it's off, you know, your project is basically one loop is on your hook, this is where you finish your work. So I'm gonna let you guys go because the internet is being weird tonight. I don't know why but um, have fun with this to real repeat if you are doing it um, and um, meet me back tomorrow at 6 45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time yep and I will show you how we're gonna finish this bad boy okay all right well let's go ahead and I hate to leave y'all because I wanted to stay on a little bit longer but our internet is unstable for some reason. My husband seems to believe everybody in the in the nation's trying to get on the internet around us. So um, it's been weird. Even though we have a repeater or whatnot, um, we have a yeah that we have something called a Nighthawk. So we have like boost. It's like extra boosting of the internet, so to speak. But it's okay. So I'll be back out here at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be working on this to, we're going to complete it. Well, I'm, I'll be at the end, at the point of completion. So continue to work on this if you're working on it. Um, take your time. Enjoy yourself. It's really fun. It's pretty simple. And I will um, make sure that this live has what we're doing tonight in the uh, descript not just a description but also in the title so you know where to come if you need to come back and make sure you're doing it the right way okay all right fam all right let's go ahead and bid you adieu don't know why the internet was unstable today it's really weird but y'all stay blessed stay encouraged may the most high bless you all and may heaven smile upon y'all until next time okay fam Thank you so much for your patience and uh, happy crocheting family. Good night. May the most high bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Until next time. Bye.